Hello there, going to be doing another quarantine run today. Uh, this time with Little Fade. Now, my original intention was to do it once with each champion, call it a day, but um, as I was going through them, I, I there were so certain paths I didn't explore that I think could be done this way, so I'm going to be doing a Little Fade run today. Or a Firelight Little Fade specifically, and ironically that's one of the ones I think it's the strongest in a normal Covenant 25 run. So, um, without priority units, I do think it'll be a little more challenging. Uh, I do like this start, though. Um, Mind Collapse maybe could help with the devastating attack from the backliners, and Molten Encasements are one capacity unit, so base stats are pretty much almost irrelevant. Um, and if I happen to get the Tombs gain a bunch of health and burnout, uh, that'd be cool. Um, having a controlled reform school and... Yeah, so I'm going to need to do a lot of trimming to make sure I can draw them as quickly. And... I mean, sure, why not? So, extra stuff for wood trigger on... Oh, wait, it works on the champion! It's so good! I was like, oh, yeah, the stealth could be okay, but it works on the champion! Alright, so... Let's go. Strong artifacts here. Still gonna be a little tricky for this, uh... Until I've trimmed down my deck. Like, right now... Dying does nothing, so I'm going to set up here and hope I draw into some units. No reason not to give Little Fade attack. Um, here's a unit. I like units. Might as well have Ember for next turn. So we have only drawn... There we go. We've drawn a bunch of units, uh, but they're all dazed. So I'm just going to remove the damage shield. It's fine. Uh, this guy will take a little more hurt. I guess I could... With two Ember... I could kill him, which is nice. Hopefully I get... Yeah, so now he'll burn out and buff. I should be okay on this boss. And we're good. So strong, I mean, only taking six fire damage is actually pretty strong. Uh, <laughs> this is often a very tough first ring. Um, usually it gets better from here because you can get a priority unit, but in this case, um, that's sadly not going to be true. I'm going to be looking for multi-strike. Maybe uh, health or something, but m mostly multi-strike. So I'm going to not take <laughs> stuff. Um, that would, yeah, see if I'd taken the health there I wouldn't have been able to get multi-strike. Now I was hoping to have money left over for removals, but oh well. It's, uh, I don't know. I guess set you up on top. Oh, I see what happened. So, Unfortunately, what happened was the multi strike guy died. Let's get this in here. And here. Okay. And no collectors. I feel like I want to try to preserve as much fire health as I can, so I would have liked the collector. Um, this guy's going to die again. That's okay. And we're good. Cool. Okay. I think looking, I mean, I can't get multi strike, um, so, but let's get burnout on this guy. Gonna probably dupe that one at some point. I probably should have just gone for the artifacts since I had no money. Alright. We do not have full space down there, so we will not want a damage shield. Um.
you in here. Sure, I'll get some ember. Let's get you in here, let's get you in here. Where's my multi striker? There it is. I screwed up. You're still alive. can't change the math here. If I kill the bomb, I don't die. So... Let's get a reform in here. How we doing? We are winning. Cool. I'm torn here, so because I have this guy, I capacity is less of a concern. I think I need to take card draw uh, once, um, and I might want to take capacity later. Um, but let's go ahead and do some cleanup here. We'll get rid of a train steward and a plink, and do my tomb. Okay, I'm really hoping I can deal with this. Alright, I didn't draw either of my tombs, so I'm gonna kill myself hoping I could draw into a reform in case I... Yeah, so this is... I was afraid of this. Um, so I got my expensive reform. So I can only play one of these guys right now. Hey there, this is Future Narninian reviewing the footage, and I'm just noticing two ways I could have handled this turn better if I had thought about it. So uh, both of them involve using the Mind Collapse to generate Ember. So one thing I could have done, uh, which wouldn't have changed the turn that much, was uh, I could have played out one of the, the tombs, leaving me at two Ember. Then I could have killed the Collector, um, because two Ember is enough to kill the Collector. This kills the Collector, gives me two Ember back, and I can still do kind of the same thing I did with the Reform. Um, the other thing I could have done was I could have played out two Tombs, leaving me at one Ember, then used the Mind Collapse to kill the Healer, leaving me at two Ember, which lets me use the two-cost Reform and get out both stealth tombs. So just, just something to think about. Uh, I make mistakes all the time, and I noticed these mistakes when reviewing the video, and I thought I'd comment it, on it this time. Anyways, thanks for listening. Back to the video. <laughs> all right, so I'll get you in here. You'll die. So at least we're killing. You in here. Everyone's dying. We even get a. Oh, sure. We will block a hit. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is tight. I mean, we're doing plenty of damage, but not dying is tight. Of course, uh. Alright, we're gonna do this. Nice benefit of using stealth tombs as my targets. So we're gonna do this here. And we're good. It's scary, but we made it. Because if they had made it the fire, I think I'd lose like half my fire health in one round. Um, more removals, I think. 
let's remove a mine collapse, we'll keep one, and a train steward. Multi strike on this guy, so we're just doing pure molten encasements, I think. Let's actually give you some health. So that's four capacity taken up. I think, yeah, we're gonna do them again. So let's remove a train steward and a plank. Just consistency is so important without priority units. Um, I'm gonna take this risk. Okay, let's set up over here so that we can actually kill the units. Uh, you are fine. Since I'm not dying, I actually don't want you here because then I'm stealth, which is not good. Let's get some ember, because why not? Excellent. Kill the collector. Let's get another reform in here. Awesome. We have plenty of damage now. This guy might die, but then it'll give these guys stealth, so it's fine. Let's get you out of deck. I don't see any reason. Okay, so two, two of them kill, so let's go ahead and do that. So these guys are going to be stealth when this guy dies, if he does. But we can come strong here. That's the good artifact that was worth it. And uh, these are cards, so uh, take a small break here, one second. And I'm back here. Um, I actually don't see any reason not to go to right. Um, cavern could be okay, but um, just removals and, and stuff are great. So do, do I even want hammer chest plates? I think I do. There's a lot of incoming damage here. Let's remove the train sewer and a plink. I'll keep. Hmm. I'll keep two of them around just in case and dupe uh, one of these guys. Maybe the the health one. Um, one, two, three. Yeah. So now we have five capacity worth of units. We'll set up on the top, I guess. Because I don't have any of my units. I should be able to kill in one round. I mean, these guys. Let's get you in here. have a minor problem in that these guys are going to all burn out and give this guy stealth, but that's fine. Shouldn't have done that there. Should be starting to be okay now. Let's get this guy back and this guy back. Yeah, we're fine. Look at that damage. I'm torn here because I had a problem this fight. 
which was I didn't draw into my tombs in time. So I had six card draw, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cards that are not. Um, so really, on turn one, you only get five card draw. So that's actually really unlikely, I guess. So maybe I, it's not a problem. So I had five cards to draw out of a, out of a pool of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 cards. So you'd think I would have gotten one of them, but I didn't. Uh, I'm going to cut the planks. I, I really want to go capacity. I'm going to want to dupe another one of the dudes just for craziness. Um, free artifact or removals? And selection of Let's do removals. Maybe I just get rid of a reform even and um, I'll think about the other choice. I'm not playing any morsels and I don't want morsels. So, not great. Uh, I don't have anything that would benefit from this. Do I? No, that's too big. So remove a plank. And we go firelight. Spell shield. I have one plank. Uh, so, and it does one damage. Minus one. Okay, so. I think I'm going to zip on top. I'm, I'm a little worried I'm not going to be able to set up enough units. So I'm going to set you down here and you guys up here. We'll have stealth. Reform. You go here. Get the collector. Now I can set both of these guys up, or probably more likely one of these. Um, and you're burning out, so the stealth doesn't matter. Yeah, let's get this in here. Then I can reform twice next turn. Okay, perfect. So we'll do this. Get you in here. Oh, I thought I had another one. Okay, everyone die dies, so it's all good. There's my other one. Um, I don't know if the order matters here. Cool, we made it. <laughs> Always tricky piloting the first couple waves. So we only have one reform. The nice thing is if anybody dies, everyone else is safe. as well work on your spell shield. One available. Work on your spell shield. Work on your spell shield. And we're good. Cool. I think I will set up on the top floor in the final ring too. And I could, I mean, everyone's fully upgraded, right? So I actually could dupe, and I should. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, the only burnout units I want to die are 
my champ, so this seems good. Um, Pyre gets health, seems good. Two's gained burnout. Oh my gosh. Alright, uh, the other one's good too, but I'll have plenty of burnout on them, I think. Uh, so they all have, uh, all of a sudden, an extra 30 health, which is great. Um, I mean, they all have multi-strikes, so... I'll just do this one. And do I even care about Plinks anymore? I don't care about Plinks anymore, so I'll just remove Plink and the Mind Collapse. I don't care about that with this exploding candle. So what I do care about is these primitive molds being a little cheaper to play. Cool. Do I have anything that this applies to? No. Small top floor, so we're going to sit up in the middle floor, which is fine. And I don't think the order really matters too much here. Yeah, because only the t the heavy attacks. Um, once the champ dies, this is perfect. I mean, I guess I might as well wicked blaze, but <laughs> I don't care about the champ's attack. And the, the great thing is, like, if they kill this guy, all these guys get 4 stealth, so it's just, you have no hope. We're already doing 1600 damage. I dare you to visit me one more time, Zaraf. You dared. That was foolish. Boom! Four turn boss rush. I mean, just exploding candle. I think I would have been fine without it, but uh, it, it made this one go off the rails a bit, if you might say. So, but, like, yeah, little Firelight Little Fade can make any unit into a powerhouse. It does not matter their base stats. So, uh, multi strike is nice. Um, but not required. Like, I think, you know, I, I obviously am trying to maximize my chance to win, but multi strike um, is probably the best upgrade, as it is for most runs. But um, also, small, small capacity is great. Uh, the downside of one capacity units are they're not priority units. So normally I would advise, you know, getting any priority unit um, at all, uh, giving it multi-strike, um, maybe some health, and then if you get any of these one guy, one pip guys, they're great as well. So uh, um, maybe dupe the priority unit and go full capacity. Uh, but yeah, as you can see. Um, just not drafting cards, a uh, firelight is still really strong. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one.